there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, I'm coming to you today from the airport in Las Vegas, Nevada today. How do you know that? Well, because I'm obviously in an airport and for some reason there's a whole bunch of slot machines beside me, behind me, and I'm in the US. And last time I was in Las Vegas, I did a challenge with $2,500. I'm actually only in Las Vegas for 72 hours. 6.36 p.m. on Sunday, I'm getting here, and about 6.40, I'm jumping on a plane and getting out of here. I'm gonna take you around for the next 72 hours, and I'm gonna bring with me $2,000 in cash. Whoa, it's getting angry. $2,000 in cash, so 100, 200, oh, I'm messing up my hundreds. 300, 400, oh, good, damn it. 500. You're gonna have to trust me here. Six. Here. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, I can do this safely in the airport. Or right, five. All right. That is two thousand dollars in cash. And you might say, "Hey, Rich, what are you gonna do with that two thousand dollars in cash in seventy-two hours?" The answer is all or nothing. We are gonna see what we can do with two grand in cash all over Vegas in 72 hours. I've got camera glasses, I've got all kinds of other things, so I'm gonna take this 2000 and we're gonna do mostly roulette. We're gonna head into Viva Las Vegas and we're gonna see what we can do in 72 hours because I got a flight leaving out here. It's Sunday night, 6.40 p.m. I got a flight leaving Wednesday at 6.40 p.m. Let the 72 hours begin now and let's see what we can do with two thousand dollars i'll take you along for the ride on my glasses stay tuned all right so once you get in here we just got in here you know you would go to the uh where you'd pick up your baggage uh, these terminals seem to be uh in uh maintenance right now you go to where you pick up your bags i'm only staying here for 72 hours so i've just got my little uh, backpack right there and what you do is you go up to the second floor of the parking garage and that is where you request your uber or your lyft does anybody want to take a guess where i'm staying yes it matches my shirt i'm staying at the flamingo the problem is the second you go out this door 33 bus exhaust so what you want to do is you want to stay inside the airport where it's nice and cool order your uber to where you want to go and it will tell you the exact bay that your uber driver is actually coming to to pick you up so yes you go down right when you come off you go down to baggage claim if you have bags again i've just got my bag on my back because for 72 hours that's all you really need and then you go into the uber app stay inside because as soon as you go outside in August. It's a lot better in December. Uh, it's, it's like 40 degrees outside in December. But uh, as soon as you go uh, outside, you're in 110, 111 degree weather. So I'm going to request the Uber right now and uh, we shall head to there, the Flamingo. And I'll see you over there. I think we'll get the first bet going pretty damn soon. We're still about six minutes into this whole thing. So 71 hours and 50 four minutes remaining stay tuned so you walk out in this uh, 110 degree weather in august and you'll see everybody's waiting right here in the 110 degree weather instead of waiting inside like i was um so we have our driver and what's going to happen is he's going to send a message i don't think there's anything i can't show you here there we go so yeah. you got five minutes so you're going to have to show them your phone and be ready to go but you see all these people they're waiting out here they're waiting out here in the absolute sweltering heat uh, you do have to have your app showing <laughs> oh, my sister's face right now you do have to have your app showing that the uber driver is here and there's about a hundred spots right there that they can actually pick you up in so once you see it should be there it should be there in a couple seconds um once you get that little message maybe we should have waited another another minute or two here oh there's a fan some people would say uh this is my only fan Let's see if it's right here 
big fan it's helping you out here uh, the driver has to get assigned a spot before you can go through it's gonna cost you about 20 bucks to get to most places on the strip if you're staying in Fremont Street or something like that it might cost you a little bit more I'm not gonna make you hang out here while my driver parks but yeah once the driver parks what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a row a B or uh, yeah, A B C D and then each row's got 24 spots in it so there's more than 100 spots that are available we've got a red Honda Civic here and you see people just get it in their app and then they jump in make sure you order you know if you're staying here for a week or so order an appropriately sized car for your party and your luggage uh, there are a lot a lot of teslas here and you might say hey rich why are there a lot of teslas here well there's a lot of teslas here because tesla actually uh, piloted a program here well tesla and uber piloted a program here that let people actually um, rent ubers for essentially free um, so yeah we're just waiting for our driver to get in right there and then once they do we will be on our way to the flamingo all right and about a half an hour after landing we are at la flamingo uh, i like to stay at this hotel because it's got a great location central on the strip you can get from your room to the strip super duper duper easy from the room to the strip and uh, they keep the good air conditioning there's a monorail station here uh, the rooms have been upgraded and they have refrigerators in them that are not filled with minibar shit so you want to get a flamingo go room it's got an empty fridge so you can take that backpack fill it up with water gatorade anything like that and you are good to go we're going to go ahead and we are going to go to the lobby yes they do rupaul's drag race here along with there's a giant man dressed as a dragon called piff the magic and dragon and they've got a whole bunch of magnets and hamburgers and stuff like that i'm going to get checked in we're going to see where the room is and then we're going to get our first gambling sesh on try and make some money uh, they got a couple different towers here and stuff like that so and this is the last hotel on the strip you're going to laugh to add a starbucks so they just added the starbucks like three months ago or so it's the last hotel on the strip to add a starbucks this is not the Starbucks, this is the Nook. So it was here before the Starbucks, and now the Nook gets no more business. Why? Because they have the Starbucks. This is the Caesars property. Um, this is the most central Caesars property with a monorail station, in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna empty out my bag because I did only have one bag. Get a carry bag, check in. You'll see the check in line is probably gonna be pretty insane here also stay far away from this uh, wine and spirits place it's way overpriced just go to the cvs go to the walgreens and do it uh, but we are not going to go in the standard check-in line we are going to go ahead and we are going to go oh, look they have a utility bar yeah they have a diamond so that's the standard check-in line right here oh we're going to the diamond one so we're gonna go to the, of course we're gonna be able to pick our view. Come on. We're gonna go to the Diamond and Seven Stars Lounge and I'll see you on the flippity side. All right, so here's a Vegas trick that when you check in your hotel, what's worth using. You need your ID and you need the credit card you used to buy. And what you do is you take a $20 bill, you slip it inside in between the two and you make a request. Uh, we're at the Flamingo, so I'm gonna try and get a sphere view. Yes, you can use this mobile check-in, check-out, but since I am a Diamond member at Caesars, we're gonna go there. My sister was like, oh, you're not gonna get anything if you request in that line, but we have the Diamond status. So we're gonna go into the Diamond Lounge and we should be able to check in right here all right so i believe the uh 25 dollar trick were the 20 dollar trick I'm thinking 25 dollars because on the 25th floor she gave us a room right near the um right near the um monorail which i requested because i like to go to the different casinos and stuff like that and also gave us a room which should have a view of the sphere uh, because it was either the sphere or the bellagio fountains and i like the sphere more sorry if my sister is listening i like the sphere more but uh 25 oh 
one one and this won't show before that uh let's take a ride upstairs and see how it is all right let's see what we got 25011 did we get a nice view let's see did we get a sphere view we do have a sphere view very nice we got a sphere and a high roller view. I have to remember how to open these curtains, but yeah, the sphere, I, I just leave the window open full time when I'm in Vegas. Ooh, this is a real, oh, and you can see the mountains. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's why, hey, look, the 20, I gotta find the, the damn, the damn, yeah, it's better than the Drury Inn. I gotta find the key, I gotta find the lights. Another important thing, like I said, about these Flamingo Go rooms, is they should have a refrigerator. This is actually very rare in Vegas to have an empty refrigerator that's cold. Uh, and uh, since it is a flamingo room, it's all kind of pink, like a flamingo. I'm gonna unpack my bag, get things going. Uh, there's a way, hold on, Julie, uh, here. This is the drape, here we go. These are all automated. Turn around, you can see it. Do, do, do. Sphere view! So you got all the flags of the world, and this is a good view. You know what? Leave your 20 bucks, be nice to the woman that's working there, and uh, you get a damn good view. I'm gonna unpack real quick, real quick, and then we're gonna head down to the casino. Or maybe to another casino, or maybe the monorail. Stay tuned. God, 70, 70 and a half hours left or so. Takes a while. Let's make some money. All right, so I got my bag emptied so I can go by CVS later, get some Gatorade, some water, stuff like that. Night hath fallen on Vegas. We're still less than two hours landed. Uh, I have not gambled yet because I wanted to unpack the bag, get checked in, get that nice view and everything like that. But I'm headed over to meet a friend at the Fountain Blue. And the best way to get around Vegas, if you understand its limitations, is the monorail. Plus it's got some great views. So we can buy a three day pass for the monorail, use the monorail as much as we want. Now that is the monorail going the wrong direction. So that's good. Means the one going the other direction should be there. When I get up to the top of the escalator, I'm gonna give you the breakdown of the price, but everything is just done here via QR codes. So you buy on your phone, Apple pay it, and you'll get a QR code that will uh, get you monorail access. Monorail only runs on one side of the street. I do have a whole video going over the best ways to use the monorail, but you can see now we are outside right by that wheel and we're gonna go by the sphere in just a few moments time. On the monorail! This is one of the only commercially successful monorails in the world and someone told me it's gonna get torn, torn down soon, which is kind of sad. So let's, uh, Let's talk passes real quick, because we're right up here anyway. We're gonna get the three-day pass, which is what we need. 30 bucks. So I'm gonna scan for discounted tickets. I'll be right back with you. All right, so we are on the monorail now, and we are headed towards the Fountain Blue. Uh, the monorail guy told me one thing, I said another. I'm gonna choose the path with more air conditioning. So we are going to take the, um, the we're going to go to the Sahara and we're going to walk through the nice air condition of the Sahara before we go outside and head to the Fountain Blue. Uh, we could walk Westgate, but it's a lot, it's a, it's a um, shorter walk, but fully outdoors. So the Westgate was the old Las Vegas Hilton. Uh, and that's where Elvis used to perform, was at the Westgate. Um, so we're gonna go, yeah, this is the closest station to Circus Circus, but we're not going to Circus Circus yet. Um, we're gonna go down to Sahara, and then we're going to um, go to Fountain Blue from Sahara. So you'll see there's the convention center, which we will be definitely checking out tomorrow. I'm gonna kinda, kinda get some gambling itch going on, and you'll see right out in the, uh, there's the sphere right over there. So when we get to Sahara, I'll take you back along. So we are here at the Westgate Hotel. I've loaded up uh, $500 on the this roulette machine and this is our first bet we're gonna place. This is a new strategy that I've been seeing. Um, what this is, is this is, I'm not gonna chase anything. I'm gonna show you. I'm just putting a $10 bet on red. 
my goal is always to be up a certain amount of dollars. So my goal is if this hits, I'm up $510. That's where it gets interesting. All right, so this is bubble roulette. The minimum on here is $3. And you see, I'm black. So since I was black, I'm just going to place the same bet again. I'm not going to double down. But my goal is $510 up here. So when I look at the bet, I'm just placing, I can, I can clear it and I can go $10 here, $10 red. It doesn't matter. But my goal up here is $510. Uh, and then I go to $520, $530, $540. But I'm not chasing losses. That's where it gets kind of interesting here. So again, I lost that there. I'm going to put another $10 right here. No more bets. Thank you. I got another $10 right here. There is a physical wheel right there. Now, this is a $3 minimum machine. I'm playing more than the minimum because I'm playing a new strategy. Again, out of my $2,000 bankroll, I've only got $500 in there. We're at the Westgate. That is a... Um, it's a timeshare resort. It's also the old Las Vegas Hilton. It's where Elvis performed back in the day and everything of the sort. And we're back to even now. So the 10 hit, so we get back $10 for 90 plus the 10. We're good. So I'm gonna put that, so that 10 comes back, 500. So my goal is 510, then 520, 530, 540, 550. I think I'm gonna play till 550 right here. Uh, and I'll come back to you in just a minute's time. All right, so that just hit. So I got 10, another 10. I've got 510. So my next goal here would be to put 10, and I wanna to get to 520. You can see we're up to 520. We've made 20 bucks already. But here's the thing we're not doing here. We're not chasing losses. This is why this is a new strategy. I'm not actually chasing the losses here. Also of a fun note, as you're doing this, they will come around and give you free cocktails if you didn't know that from Vegas. So they'll come around and they'll say, hey, you want free cocktails? You want free cocktails? So, you know, our, our next goal here is 530. And we're just gonna get it up, make 50 bucks here and walk the away. Okay, that's a loss. But what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna go crazy. We'll just repeat it again. Nothing crazy. We're just gonna repeat the bet again. Uh, and then when it wins, if it loses, 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 when it wins, then we're going to try and make it up. 530 is where we want to be. So it's an interesting thing that requires about a $2,000 bankroll to do. All right, so the we're up to 520 plus the initial on. 10. So you got your 530. Our next goal is going to be 540, and we're going to leave with 550, 10% up. We've made 50 bucks, put 50 bucks in our pocket, paid for the monorail tickets, plus some more. And that's how this strategy works. Just want to make sure you have enough. You're not going to chase anything. You're not going to go crazy. And Place it seems to work. Please. New on this whole strategy, and I will explain it later on, but just give you a baseline right now. No, All right, so it hit again. We're at 530 on. plus the initial 10. So we just got to put up uh, 10 more bucks, and then we're at 550, and we've made 10% return on this game. That's the goal, and uh, I've got a free drink coming, so I might have to stay long enough to get my free drink. And from a technical level, that's it. I've got my, I put in 500, I'm up 50 bucks. So, cha-ching, up 50 bucks, but uh, I'm waiting for my drink still, so I'm gonna keep doing it, because I'm a greedy pig, I guess. Maybe, who knows? Actually, let's uh, clear that, we'll go to black. But the goal is, every time we're hitting, we're going up. So again, my next goal is 560, as I wanna get to. So, um, and I'm not gonna chase. That's the kind of cool thing. So you can go red or black, even odd, 1 through 18, 19 through 36. It doesn't matter what you actually do. And we're going above the minimum total bet because we're not going to chase. That's the kind of cool thing. You'll see. And while doing this, we got our, oh, look at that. I switched to black. I'm at 560. I've got my tiny little drink. And now it's time to cast out. We're up 60 bucks. So put in 500 where we started. Now we got 560. So up 60 bucks and got a free drink. Hey yo. We take that little ticket over and we say dispense Pagar and put in 500 bucks. Take 560. We are up 60 bucks. I do love the ATMs here. We'll give you actual $100 bills, unlike other casinos. We're gonna take those five, put them back in the reserve with that uh, 2,000 and we're up 60 bucks with uh, almost no risk at all. Love it. All right, so I do have to say uh, that I love Westgate. For our first quick, quick gamble of the cruise, I am up 60 bucks. Um, yeah, bought a monorail ticket for 30 bucks, so I'm technically only up 30 bucks, but let's not get technical. And we are walking over to the Fountain Blue. Just right over there, we have a Fountain Blue in uh, Miami. 
Uh, but this one's been trying to be built for about 25 years. It's gone through five or six different owners. But yeah, what you saw, hopefully you saw some video from the glasses. If I edit, edited this all correctly, I'm doing a strategy where I'm making a bet and I'm putting in an initial amount of money and I'm just targeting to go up $10. And I know what I need to bet to go up to $10, to go up to $10, to go up to $10. We had a very good run right there, but I'm up 60 bucks. So we are leaving the Westgate, which is essentially a hotel and a timeshare resort, <laughs> which is in Vegas, the former site of the Hilton. Also where I happened to walk into a room with a very good Barry Manilow impersonator once. And yeah, it was actually Barry Manilow. So we are headed to the Fountain Blue uh, from the back. Um, the bell guy who takes your, uh, the, the taxi guy, bell guy who takes all your stuff. Um, in this hotel, I asked him, uh, remember, if you're, you're local, you're not local, you know, you're a tourist, you want to know where to go, everyone in this city is very helpful. It's a hospitality city. They're going to take your money anyway. But uh, up $60 at our first stop at the Westgate. And now we go on to the Fountain Bleu. And hopefully we can pay off the airfare ticket there. And uh, the money is just going to come. Let's see. Stay tuned. It is 105 degrees or so out here. So we're hopefully gonna get the guy said to go in the garage of the Fountain Blue and we can walk in the back there. All right, so we are here now at the Fountain Blue and I'm just gonna play red. I'm putting the $10 there on red. We put 500 in the machine, someone left 75 cents there. But this is the same strategy I played at the last one. So if, if you listen, essentially I'm putting $10 down, right? And I'm not doubling down. You know how you'd Martingale or Fibonacci or whatever? My goal is to make that, my next goal is to make that balance $510. I can make that the easiest by red hitting right now. But if not, I'm not gonna increase to 20 and 40 and 80 and 120. I'm just gonna play it again. And then when it finally hits, then I'm gonna get it up to the 510. So my next goal here is 510. Just watch, so I put in five, that makes sense? I'm looking for red. Red, good, 510. All right, so my next goal after that is 520, if that makes sense. So that's gonna put the 10. So we got the 510, cool. So my next goal is 520. And I can put it on red, I can put it on black, it doesn't really matter. The zeros don't affect. But what you're not doing here is you are not chasing, if that makes sense. So your bet's $10. So remember, the goal right now is 520, $520. If you look right there, and we've got $10 here. So if this hits red, then it's 520. Now this has some crazy mechanisms, golden ball and all that, but you don't have to play any of that. You can just play standard red, black, very simple. But if you miss a couple times in a row, that's where the math starts to get interesting in this. You need a $2,000 bankroll to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get SpongeBob money real quick. And zero. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to bet again. Remember, 520 is my next goal. Does that make sense? So 520 is my next goal. We're going to bet again. If I win that, it's going to bring me up to 510, and then I win again. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm playing the odds of the wheel, but I'm not doubling down, I'm not doing anything crazy. So I'm not blowing my whole bankroll, if that makes sense. So we'll see right now. Let's let that run. I'm explaining this to someone off camera who watched this video uh, that, uh, that shows this strategy, and I understand this strategy pretty damn well. But uh, let's see... Uh, Let's see if we can walk with some cash here. Again, if we hit right now, we get to 520. Boom, okay, 520. And that pays for SpongeBob. You'll understand what that means in a few minutes' time. That was wrong. That just brought it back to five. That didn't make it 520. But if it hits here on the red, that'll make it 520. It's 20 bucks for two people to ride the SpongeBob ride, so I would like the Fountain Blue to be uh, paying for the SpongeBob ride, if that makes sense. So let's see. Play points, comps, free play. The odds are too good on this machine. Again, as soon as I get to 520, we're out of here. And if we miss a couple times in a row, I'll show you how this gets uh, kind of interesting. But I would love a red right now, and it's black. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same bet again, but we'll switch sides. It doesn't really matter. Just for the giggles, we'll switch sides. So let's switch sides here. Okay, and let's see where we're getting to. Uh, again, important when you sit down on these tables, you should look at your bet limits. My friend already sent me this last night, so I don't have to look at it. Because um, I already saw it last night. But again, my goal is um, 
is to hit here. I have to hit a couple times, two times in a row to get to 520 and get my SpongeBob money. All right, no, we're back to 510. Again, I gotta just, I'm gonna go red. I gotta get to 520 to pay for SpongeBob. <laughs> this is rationale, even though I'm already up because I wanna show you how this works. Now we can sit and we can play this for hours at end when the degenerate gambling time comes later. Trust me, those times will come. But let's just get a hit right here. If this hits, then it's 10 bet plus the 10 I win. So I'll be at 520 and can cash out right here. But we shall see. Also, I do have some, uh, some. I have $100 in food and beverage credit on here that we can use at some point. That they gave me when they tier matched me. Come on, red. Black, okay. That's fine. But again, we're not gonna double it down or anything like that. We're just gonna repeat the bet. It's 8.57 on Sunday. That'll get us back to that'll get us back to 510, and then we just have to hit again if that hits. But you know, normally you double it, you triple it, you quadruple it until it hit. I mean, look, I mean that that streak of black would have uh, blown your whole bankroll here. If you look at that, that's uh, in your ATM account. Well, I mean, I've got a two thousand dollar bankroll in my wallet, two thousand and sixty dollars when I sat down here. Hopefully, two thousand eighty. No. Now, right now, I just want 20 bucks. That's my goal. It's 20 bucks for the SpongeBob ride. Oh, no. All right. So this is where things get interesting. Again, I can just switch it here. And what you're going to do is as soon as it hits, uh, you see you're going low. As soon as it hits, then what you do is you want that to get up to the 520. So you do actually double your bet. And I'll show you how this works. But you have to wait for it to hit first. Only after a win. Only after a win. So I'm just betting 10, 10, 10 until after a win. And then after the win, I'll do it. And you're preventing yourself from getting in too deep of a hole right here, if that makes sense. So let's just wait. Let's see what we got. White ball bushes. All right. Did you make it over to Resorts World or not yet? No. Nope. Oh, we'll go there tonight too. I didn't even mean to go to Circus Circus. Seven. Oh, I'm playing on the wrong side. I was. I switched around. Again. We'll go right here. That's fine. But yeah, I, I, I thought I was in slots of fun. Yeah, I will it, take it there. Yeah. The slots of fun is actually Circus Circus. Yes. Well, they're they're slightly different companies, but um, I had to cash my chips in. Slots yeah. of fun. Yes. Yes. Circus Circus. Yes. So we've got another couple of seconds. Uh, we're down twenty bucks right now. Not happy with that, but we need a hit. We need a win before we can move on here. And go ride the SpongeBob ride. Let's she get just said black, and it has not hit yet. I'm curious. I hope it hits red because if not, I think this game's rigged. Eh, all games are rigged. So now we need this to hit. We're down a little bit. We're down. We're down 30 bucks now. It's charging. No, it's fine. Um, we're down 30 bucks right now. So uh, let's see where we're at. She just said red. Zero. Ooh. All right. This is the. Uh, this is the ebb and flow. This is the ebb and flow of this game. I get it. Again, we're gonna bet the same thing again. Actually, we'll, we'll clear it. We'll go this way. We're gonna dig ourselves out of a hole. We're waiting for a hit. It's been weird. Let's see what we get. All right. So we hit here. So what we've got to do is we've got to go 40. We've got to go 60 bucks here. So 50, 60 on black. Uh, yeah. That'll get me up to 120 yeah that'll get me to yeah that's a 60 dollar bet on black we've got to do right there because we hit and we won so we're hoping that it hits black again and it doesn't hit red again the goal is you've got to have a pretty deep bankroll to play this if it hits black hey we're good we've got what i call spongebob money let's hope we get some spongebob money here because our goal was to get back to 520 there what we got? Oh, zero. All right. All right. Again, uh, this is a this is a tough one. So we're just going ten bucks until it does it, um, and then we've got to get to that five twenty. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in another. Uh, what did I put in? Five hundred? No, I don't need another five hundred. I don't need another five hundred yet. We got a golden ball, but that doesn't really relate to anything we're doing. 
Again, the goal is 520, so we're gonna have to put a big bet out in a minute. The zeros have been uh, very popular. I'm playing this strategy pretty new, so let's hope it doesn't go too deep there. Okay, black. Ooh! This is a rough, uh, rough run here. But again, we're not blowing our whole bankroll. I mean, look at this. We would have been gone by now if we were just hitting blacks and zeros and uh, and reds. Um, that's that, that's that's a rough run. That's a really, really, really rough run there. So again, we've just got ten bucks there. We're waiting for it to hit. And let's see, uh, let's see where we get here. I'm hoping that hits. Then we got to put a big one up. Well, I gotta put a big one up after that. Those zeros are, are very, uh, very scary. So let's see where we get after this, and then we're gonna have to put like a hundred dollars here, hundred dollars or more. Ooh, that's black. That's so a loss. I'll come back to you in a moment. All right, we're going for it. Haven't had red in a while. We got a hundred and twenty dollar bet, which pays two forty plus two seventy. That should get me to the five twenty. Um, I know this is an insane bet, um, and it's kind of out of the logic of what we're doing, but uh, let's just hope for a red right now. Black. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I'll come back in a minute. Oh, good God. This has been a long and murderous run. Oof. For SpongeBob money. And uh, that's, that's where, look at this run here. That run is awful if you're playing red or you're even playing black. I prefer to play red. I'm going to try and uh, switch it up a little bit more. Come on. Red. Oh, God. Thank God. 270 plus the 250 comes back. Whew. Come on. Give me that 250 back. Uh, 520. SpongeBob money. Hurry up. Then take that SpongeBob money. The Love Shack. This is going to let us ride the SpongeBob ride. Let me cash that out and we're good to go. All right, Fountain Blue, 500 in, 520 out. And that will pay for the SpongeBob ride, which will make sense. They actually have a very good SpongeBob ride there. Uh, total tickets, dispense. Hopefully this one gets me, wait, no dumb. You know what? Let's give it to the Children's Museum, that 75 cents that was in the machine. So, yeah, what's better? No, I'm not gonna say how much I hate children. Uh, but we should get. Five one hundred dollar bills and a twenty. So we're gonna stack up that twenty, and uh, we are up to eighty dollars so far. Let's see how much better we can do and go ride SpongeBob. All right, everyone. So um, now here's the uh, the question where you ask if you have a weapon. Uh, we are at Circus Circus. Um, this is one of the oldest, rinkiest, dinkiest hotels on the Strip, but they have a really cool dark ride that got installed. Um, which is really quite cool. Uh, it's the SpongeBob Crazy Carnival Adventure. Thing is, that closes at uh, at 10 o'clock. So a lot of stuff in Vegas doesn't close, but that closes in 40 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and do the SpongeBob Crazy Carnival Adventure. We gotta walk through the slots and everything to the back of Circus Circus, where the Adventure Dome and the roller coaster and all that stuff happen to be. Also, I'll show you really cool in Circus Circus is they actually have a merry-go-round that goes around. Let's show you the merry-go-round uh, that's got slot machines on it. So they have rotating slot machines. Where are my rotating slot machines? They're somewhere here. Just because I want to show them to you. I'm not seeing them. But yeah, there's a whole bank of slot machines that rotates here. Unless I'm just totally crazy. And they also have a real cash. I think we missed them. We'll catch them on the way out. They have real cash slots as well. But we're going to go back and check out the SpongeBob crazy carnival ride right now. All right, so we're at the SpongeBob ride. I'm going to make my sister take some video. I have some old video to insert here. Um, but uh, I'm not going to do it because you have to buy it in sets of two. And I got two friends here. Uh, so I'm going to get... Uh, and this is going to be courtesy of the Fountain Blue, or their roulette machine, technically. Uh, enter. Oh, okay. I gotta get a real card. Give me a second. 
So I am going to stay behind, and I'm going to give this little camera, and I'm going to let them uh, let them film what's going on. But yeah, there's a SpongeBob Crazy Carnival ride. There's a uh, Mr. Krabs and everything like that. So I'm going to pass the camera off and let them uh, let them show you this because I've already done it before. That's not worth me doing it for 13 bucks. Yeah, I went a couple of years ago. It was fun. It's Mr. Krabs! It's some additional than not to be Guys, I can't believe you guys this scary. and the Krabby Patty secret formula will finally be mine! I got 41 now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just guessing. This is my team. We'll break those plates. Smash, smash. All these fruits and candies are making me hungry. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you can't shoot sure them. Folks, food is breaking in so hungry. That gives me an idea for a new game. Follow me. That's a hard game there. they didn't understand is that's the first new thing put in for families in Vegas in years uh, probably 15 20 years they've taken away stuff from families uh, but they haven't really put it back so that Spongebob thing got a little video show you now we're gonna go ahead and check out the Adventure Dome now this was the original in the world indoor theme park uh, now here's the thing it got a little rough so now they do like metal detectors and shit like that when you go in but uh, this is the Adventure Dome and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the inside of the Adventure Dome. So this is the Adventure Dome. They do check you for uh, you knives guns. and weapons and guns and stuff like that. Security is going to check us out and then we'll be able to go into the Adventure Dome, which was the world's first indoor theme park back in the day. It's so funny that people I'm with are going, this looks just like Mall of America. No, Mall of America ripped this off. This is the Adventure Dome. It's a nice temperature year round. You don't have to worry about the heat in Vegas. And you got the Canyon Blaster, which should be working, which is their roller coaster here. Um, they got all kinds of different rides and stuff like that in here. You can buy either individual ride tickets or a pass. 
for all the rides. Um, but when the roller coaster goes, you can hear it. There's some, there's actually some really insane rides here that I'll show you. Uh, this is, this was the largest indoor theme park before Mall of America, before any of the rest of that stuff came to be. There's some small rides, there's some big rides. For some reason, there's Angry Birds the ride. I don't know what Angry Birds the ride is. Maybe there's a description. Does it move? Extreme ride. Not really sure what Angry Birds the ride is. But well, we're just gonna do a little loop around, show some of the roller coasters and stuff in here. And then we're gonna grab something to eat. Surprise will be what it is. You'll see. But what's funny is I'm talking to the people I'm traveling with and you know, when people say there's nothing for families to do here in Vegas, I mean, Look, there's games, there's all this kind of stuff here. Circus Circus has a lot of stuff too. And you can kind of walk around. I think we've uh, almost made it all the way around. Not quite yet. But you got all kinds of games. And, oh God, look at that roller coaster. Woo. But yeah, it's kind of amazing how, uh, how all this just kind of exists in the middle of the desert. And it's, it's a nice like 65 degrees in here. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty frigid in here, isn't it? Is it cold? He just has a YouTube short. It's pretty frigid in here. Nice. Nice. The sand pirates. Don't wanna lose no one. The roll the ball game. Last time I was in Vegas, I had to play the roll the ball game with Kirsten. So much, Kirsten's not here this time, but she will be on, uh, on a cruise, which is coming up really, really soon, like right after this Vegas content. Uh, trust me, we will get back to the gambling later tonight. But I do want to take you to a pirate tiki bar with stray dogs. We're gonna get some food. We're gonna get some other stuff like that. So stay tuned. All right, so we are now at Slots O Fun, and they've got two dollar hot dog, two dollar shrimp cocktail and a $2 Heineken. Is it great? No. Is it on the strip and is it pretty reasonably priced? Yeah. And the shrimp cocktail is pretty good as I remember. Oh, you see we got it right there. And then you take out the shrimp cocktail piece. And then you even have your sauce underneath. Dippy dippy in the sauce. Hmm. And wash down some Heineken. Some people say it's a good time. I say it's lots of fun. You know what? That first shrimp cocktail was so good, we had to go for another round. And I've had these before, and I've not had the Revenge of Montezuma the next day. So um, they're, they're served in like little ice cream cups, but they're so damn good. I mean, yeah, I know. I, I like uh, I like shrimp cocktail on cruise ships, stuff like that. But hey, for two bucks, I actually think these are better than the ones you want. Well, these are better than the ones you get on the cruise ships. So that's fun. Right in front of Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. Very good. All right, so after we had that hot dog, we went and we had something a little more substantial at the McDonald's because we're gonna have a little drinky drink. Uh, we are going to go to a really unique tiki bar right now um, called the Stray Pirate. And I will leave it up to you to see what goes on there. We're just gonna have a, a drink or two. We're not gonna go crazy like the last time I went, uh, how do you say it, astray there. So um, let's go to the Stray Pirate, then we'll go to the Strat, then we'll go to the Sahara, then we'll go a couple of places. We'll go to Resort World. I got things to check out. Stay tuned. Stray Pirate coming up next. So I got a unique place right now. This is called the Stray Pirate. It is a tiki bar. And uh, it is, but yeah, they got a cannon. And uh, they got a door. Yeah. Oh my. You've not been here. That's this. The Stray Pirate. Very, very cool. 
and you'll notice that all of the mascots are just people's dogs. Right, so I've got, my sister had a shot of, oh god, overproof rum that came with her drink. Oh, ho! And then this is probably my favorite cocktail in Vegas, the Bikini Bottom Ice Tea. I talked to the creator last time I was here. I don't want to mess that up. Hold on, let's try. What is this one? You remember from? Alcohol! Stray Dog Rock. No. The Stray Dog Rock. You like it? Yeah. You want to try yours, Julie? You want to try mine? A little milky. Pina colada -y. You want to try this one? It's a pretty good drink. That's got a lot of good drink. Yeah. That's the strongest drink here. But yeah, um, what you'll see is uh, they've got, I turned on the low light stuff. They've got all this design. I've done a whole video on this place before, but you know, whenever I come to Vegas, I got to come check it out. It's a stray pirate because uh, all the pirates are stray dogs. In the bathroom, you see, it's got a whole bunch of dogs in the bathroom here. And then this one is closed. But uh, the Stray Pirate, again, I've done a review of the entire menu here, but uh, it's a really kind of. Someone took their shirt off. Oh, sexy. No shirt, no service. Yeah, boy. Um, but yeah, got a little stop for a tiki drink, or they'll probably have one, people that are with me, and I'll have two. But, okay. Arm wrestle? I'm good. Stray Pirate. It's right behind the uh, stratosphere uh, in Las Vegas. Put in. Uh, 500 here. We're at the Strat now. Uh, got a $10 bet there, um, and uh, we're playing the same strategy. Uh, let's see if we can make some money here. We're already up. Uh, hold on. Let's see, we're already up here. We're already up uh, 80 bucks. Let's see if we can. Uh, if we can do more than that, I'd like to pay for my uh, my flight. Oh, 13. That's a really lucky number. So we're gonna hit repeat again. Our goal is uh, 510. So our goal here is 510 dollars. If I wanted to, we can put the 10 dollars on black. Actually, yeah, we'll leave it there. Yeah, my goal. Yeah, let's go right here. Huh. So my goal is 510 dollars and at 470 dollars right now. So as soon as that hits, then I'm gonna make a bet that would make it respective of the uh, 510 dollars, which is my goal. So let's see if that hits. We got a ball right there in the middle. Let's see where we're at. I don't have my player's flip card in right now because I don't think you get any points. So Ten dollars a play for one point. Okay. Right? Yeah, there we go. So that gets us some good play right there. Go up to 490. We're getting on a win, so we gotta get to 510. So what gets us there? It's uh 20 to 10. 20 gets us up to 510. So we got a $20 bet on red. You don't want to make that bet until your bet actually hits. So let's see. Again, the goal is to get that 510 right there. The green has been hitting uh, an awful lot. Let's see. We need a red right there. If not, we're going to go back down to 10 so we don't blow our entire bankroll. Again, I'm only putting $500 in at a time. I haven't put more than $500 in the whole time. And I I've walked with a profit, even though uh, it was very close at the time. That's why you need two grand ready to bet on this. And oh, 11. That's black. So now we're going to go back. Again, 510 is the number. So we're going to go back. Going to bet $10 there, which uh, if that wins, that would be 80. So then I'd have to bet 30 to get to 510. Just doing the math right there so you can kind of see. I'll bring you back more closer to that 510. Bet on 10 there. Oh, there we go. That's nice. That'll bring it to 20. So it gets me to 470 plus that. That's a win. So 480 means I need to bet, uh, to get to 510, I need to bet $30 right there. So 25, 30 on black. 
And if we hit black, we'll be 30, 30, so we'll be at 510. Uh, you see, because we're at 450 right there. So again, the goal is, you're, you're looking to just make money $10 at a time, but it doesn't require you to blow your entire bankroll here. So let's see what's about to happen again. We would like, we would really like a buck right here, because we're about $30, I can, and I can now touch the screen. We've got $30 on black, so we'd love a black right here, and then that will get us back up to the 510, and we can start the sequence all over again. There we go. Black, you can see right up there. It's about to jump to 510. 480 plus the 30 when it comes back. That is 510. That's all we want. Put them $10 back there and start all over again. Next goal is 520. All right, so we got the uh, $10 there. So now we're at 520. So our next goal should be 530 right there. So you see 520 again. Not the strat. Let's uh, go red again because I love red. And what we're looking for is we are looking for another, uh, looking for that to win and that up there to give me back that 10, plus an additional 10 that gets me 530. It's an interesting way to kind of a uh, creepy crawly creep up here. Let's just see if this works. Should work. No reason it shouldn't work. Slow and steady, it wins the race. This is actually better than Fibonacci, Martingale, anything like that because it's it's actually a lot lower risk because you're not doubling and tripling and quadrupling and all that every time i just want red to hit and red hit so now we're up to 530 again the 10 plus the additional 10 520 that 10 will come back 530. let's put the 10 over on black just for giggles it doesn't matter look honestly shit me i can even put it on even it doesn't matter what it's on as long as it's on one of the one to one bets one to 18 even red black odd or 19 to 36. You don't want to bet it on anything else. But again, my new goal is 540. So I want to get to 540. Now, there's been a lot of even numbers. But um, where I do well is if that hits 540. Let's see if it hits. Again, your minimum total to bet here and maximum total bet. And the important thing, you want to show your bet limits. That's important. So you hit that gear up in the top right corner. We're not going to hit that. That's $1,000. We don't even have $1,000 in the machine. Uh, that was the correct answer to go to even. Yeah, no, no, that was 27. Sorry. So again, our goal is 540. So we're just gonna bet it again. Bet even. And we're looking for 540. So that'll get us to 530 and 540. So we have to wait for that to win, but we're not gonna double it. We're not gonna triple it. We're not gonna do anything like that. We're just gonna chase it. Very simple, very easy. Nothing crazy. We're at the Stratosphere Hotel. We're gonna do this at a couple other hotels. We'll do it with a non-moving uh, machine. We'll do it with an actual fully digital machine coming up at the Ellis Island Hotel in a couple hours. But uh, it is currently at 12.02 a.m. So we got in about five hours ago. So you can see T minus 60-something uh, hours. Come on. Give me black. Are we? 15. That's not even. Again, we're losing here. We're losing. So again, we're not going to go crazy. We wanted 540 as the number. So if this hits, we'd have to bet 20 on the next hand to get up to 540 to give you the logic. But this math actually works really, really, really well overall in the scheme of things. I know I sound like I'm a crazy person talking to myself in the Stratosphere Casino, and I kind of am a crazy person talking to myself in the Stratosphere Casino. But at the same time, I'm also not that crazy, I think. All right, so we hit an even number there. That's going to get me up to 510 plus the 10. And then on there, I have to go ahead and 20. We're going to get 540 as our next bet. So we're going to put 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars there on even. And we'll see what that does. Hey, give me a second. I'm, I'm, so I got 20 dollars on even. That should get me back up to 540 dollars there. If that were to hit an even number, it's hit odds, hit odds, hit odds. So. Again, it doesn't matter what you bet. You bet 1 to 18, even, red, black, on 19 to 36. You can literally bet anything you want. And that will get you up to 540, and I want to go up to 550, and then I'll cash out up 50 bucks. So let's see if we can uh, if we can get there. Even number. Even number. 24. Boom. So again, my next goal, 550. And now we will move on to the next casino. Let's go with red there. Again, it doesn't matter what you're betting as long as they're one-to-one -one bets. Um, there's nothing insane, nothing crazy there. So if that, if that hits right there, 
Let's just see if we can get it right there. Alright, let's see. There we go. Again, that 10 would get me up to $550, and then I've made a 10% return right here. Let's see. Let's see what we're doing. Come on, come on. Give me a red. Give me a red before we run out of tape here. Physical camera right there. Physical wheel. And it is red. 550. We're going to 540 plus the 10 that comes back. Come on. 10, come back. Can't cash out. And we have turned 500 into 550. And I am good to move on. Come on. Oh. Got stuck there. And I'm good to move on to the next casino. Let's get from the Strat Hotel and Casino Skypod. Alright, so I jumped right over here with my 550 because I wanted a free drink. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is, yeah. I'm talking with my imaginary friends. Oh, that's no good. So I bought him with the 550. Didn't cash out yet. Yep. I got him. I do have him. I am not a crazy person today. Hey, his doctor gave him permission to leave the hospital. Yeah, the doctor said, you can leave the house. You're crazy. Oh, wait, someone <laughs> left their someone left their card here. True Rewards, Calrice L. Ross. Oh, they do that so they can get points. And we've got Dante C. Brown. And they can always get new ones. But again, my, my new goal is $560. $560 is my new goal. Oh, don't block the view of the cameras. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. That's starting to sound like Kamala Harris. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was a good job. yeah, that's cute. Problem is, I'm red betting black now instead of red. Again, what we're not doing is we're not doubling down, tripling down, anything like that. We're just betting again. Again, 560 is my bet, but you'll see. We're waiting until this hits, and then we're going to bet it. Uh, 560 is where I want to be up there. Uh, I'll get to 540 if this hits. Then I'll have to put a $20 bet on 540 to get to 560. I was at 550, and then I was like, let me get a drink. So I. Uh, I'll put all my money in. I need a tip. You need a tip? Here. There you go. Get a little, get a little rum and coke action. I do have uh, my sister with me that doesn't need to see how much I gamble. Um, so um, we're going to drop her off at the hotel and then we'll go out and. Uh, red. This is crazy. Because I was doing well. You betting even, huh? Five odds in a row. I bet high numbers. All right. So again, 560 is my number. So we're waiting for that to hit there. And we'll see if that hits. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Let's see, come on. I need black. It's been hitting red instead of black. Probably switch to even or odd. Red again. All right. Yeah, it bounced out. But again, 560 is the number. Um, gonna have to bet 60 bucks or, or 40 bucks uh, as soon as this hits, just to give you an idea. But the idea is um, you don't double on a loss. I think that's the important thing, and that's why your bankroll can last significantly longer on this game. Just All right, so this has been a long run here. Let's just see um, if we can get that. It should hit black, but again, I'm not doubling on black every time. I'm not doubling on black every time, so it would be a lot worse if I was doubling on black every time. Red. Good God. So, uh... Yeah, these are uh, these are rough. Should I keep playing? Of course I should, because we got to see if this actually works. So again, when it wins, then we want to get up to 560. Whatever it takes to get up to 560, as soon as this wins, I'll be back with you. I, it keeps hitting red for some reason. It keeps hitting red, but again, we're not we're not doubling, we're not blowing our entire our entire load right here realistically and i think that's the important thing is that we're not doing anything crazy 
We're just betting 10 bucks there. Again, 560 is the number. So we're almost gonna have to bet like $80 when this finally hits. Uh, and that's why you need, I only have 500 in, but that's why you need a $2,000 bankroll on this game. Because if you, if you miss for long enough, again, I should have been switching colors, but uh, you know, that's a long run. Come on, give me black. And then I wanna bet up to 560. So we'll see how far we away we are from that. Red again, oof, it's a rough one. This one might uh, might be time to call it now. Repeat, again, we're only down 40 bucks technically um, on this session, but we lost from the 450 down another 40 bucks. So we're down $90 right now um, to give you a reality and a reaction. But I'm just trying to show you the reality of this in a real casino. I think that's the important thing, that's the special thing, and again, 560 is my number. So if this hits, I have to bet $80 on the hand afterwards um, in order to get back up to 560. So I'm hoping this hits, or hoping it doesn't hit, or a lot of, a lot of different mixed factors at the same time. Oh my God, it keeps hitting red. Oof. Look at those reds. And so, um, but again, in any other scenario, I would blow my entire bankroll by that time. Here, I'm really down 50 bucks or 100 bucks if you want to be realistic in the scheme of things. So, again, 560, I've got about 80 or 90 dollars when that finally hits on the block. So, I'll probably hit green. Who the hell knows? Minimum total bet here is three dollars. Just pointing out facts and things and things and facts. Let's see if we're gonna hit here. Finally, on black, it's been a very long time since black has hit. Let's see if we can uh, do a little better. Oh my god, it keeps hitting red. Again, I'm glad I'm not, uh, I'm glad I'm not chasing it for hundreds of dollars at a time. Look, look at all the reds there. That is a dangerous, dangerous quotient of reds. Uh, I usually play red, so. All right, so I got a rum and coke and a water. Jerry? What? All right. Ah. It's a little fat. What'd you get? Oh, good. Oh, they gave you a nice beer. Finally. Oh, it's finally. You guys have to be black. I thought you said it's got to be flat. So 50. I have to bet, oh my god, I have to bet $100 here on black. Boom. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to stop it and restart it so you can see what happens here. All right, so here we go. We've got $100 bet on black because we got to get that uh, back up to $560. Let's um, say 29 or 33 I don't care what it is. But I would love it for me there, or I'm going to be down... I'm gonna be down uh, 140 bucks, which is kind of rough. Oh, oh, oh! You know what we gotta do? We gotta go in the wallet. Oh, we gotta pull more cash out. I'll see you in a minute. All right. So um, again, we're we're back down to ten dollars on a miss. Hopefully, we hit it. Now we have to put another hundred dollars. We make that back. Uh, no, maybe two hundred dollars or so. Black, black. Black twenty-four. Baby. It doesn't do me any good yet. Three sixty. So, so that would be two seventy, three seventy, four seventy. So we got to go up more. Okay, so one hundred fifty, and so that's two fifty plus five. 130, 160, $140 on black. It's been a lot of reds. Let's see where we get to. Hopefully we can uh, get this recorded here. Come on. I think 140 does it. Yeah, 125, 230, 140. Yeah, it might be a couple pennies short, but let's get us over 500. There we go. Yeah, baby. 17. You'll see the win right there. Ooh, 370 plus the 140 gets us up to 510. That's fine. We can start at uh, 20 bucks there just to kind of 
make it back up to that 560 as my goal. I'm trying to show you the ebb and flow of roulette and how the ebb and flow of roulette works when you actually know the numbers and know what's going on. So I'm bet on rent for 20, which would give me 40. My goal was to get out here with 560, which is my original goal before I got this drink here. No more money put in. That's important. I almost reached for some money. Then I got lucky. Then I got lucky. Come on, I need red. I love red. Red, there we go. So that's uh, that's good, that's 510 plus 20, that's 30. And then we need, what do we need? Uh, we need another 30. Uh, let's go on red. Another 30 would give me 560 and we'd be done here. Let me stop it and start it again. All right, so right now we're either playing for even money or 560. I'm out at the five. You notice how low this actually got. It got down to like 100 and something. Uh, so it's red or black. It's probably going to show green because I said green. You can see right here, if it's red, we get to 560. We get a $60 profit. If it's not, then guess what? We, uh, we don't have anything. We walk out of this casino even, which is better than losing. And it's black. Oof. Mm. Nah. Let's play it. Again, 17, so we're gonna go up 30 and 20. That'll get us to uh, 520. Let's click there. Well, I like to play gambling. Now I'll tell you, I don't even have a card in here, so I'm not getting any points or anything like that, but uh, let's, let's, let's get a nice red hit there for 20. That's the base bet now, just because uh, we were down so much, I had to go up to 20 to be the base bet. Hey, look at that. Yeah, well, it's 520. It's 520. So to get to 560, I have to place... Again, $20 is my base bet, so they'll get me to 540. And then hopefully it will get me to 560. Again, we're, we're playing kind of loose with these rules that we started earlier in the night, but at the same time, not. We're just trying to catch up a little bit, so instead of starting at 10, we're starting at 20, um, which should give us like $4,000 bankroll instead but uh all those reds are uh working in our favor you can see most of the hot numbers are reds and most of the cold numbers are blacks not that that means anything um but come on give me a red there we go so that's 40 and our whole goal is to get back to that 560 so for 540 if we bet 20 dollars you know what? I'm feeling like even. And we'll get that even? Yeah. Because all the rest of them have been odd, odd. None of that means anything. Past results are no indicative nature of future success. I'll stop this and start it again so I can make sure you see the spin. All right, here we go. One second left, 520, that hits. We get up to 560 and we've made our money and we've already finished our drink. Come on. Even number on the wheel in the middle. Can we make 60 bucks or we can make 20 bucks here? Come on. Give me 60 bucks. Even number. I don't care if it's red or black as long as it's not zero. Give me, aw, 22. Even number. And guess what we've got right there? Boom. Gonna hit cash out. Wait, hold on. Wait for the money to come back. 560. So we get to write 60 bucks positive from the Strat. And we'll move on to the Sahara. 560 from the Strat Hotel and Casino Skypod. Hopefully, hopefully this gives me a hundreds. I would love that it gives me a hundreds. It loves to, wait, what is this shit? It's saying values, there we go. 560, so that should be $60 up. Which way does it come out? There? Comes out this hole right there. Hold up, we're gonna go down in the hole. Lick the hole. Hundreds, one, two, three, four, five. And that's $60 in profit. We peel off, we put in the profit stack. Smells like profit. All right, so another $60 here at the Strat on the new strategy. We're gonna head, I think, over to Ellis Island by way of Sahara. So um, we might check in the Aztec Inn Casino. Really sketchy casino. But we got to another 60 bucks here at the Strat. Come on, guys, let's go. And uh, we'll jump in just a moment to the Sahara. But my buddy was like, uh, what's going on over here? This is the 
Aztec Inn Casino. They got $5 breakfast. <laughs> Mexican food, Mexican breakfast. Interesting. Look, Casino, just take a peek in. We're not playing here. I just want to take a peek inside before we head across the street to the Sahara. All right, so we are back on the monorail, headed back to the Flamingo. Uh, I'm going to drop my sister off, and I think me and my buddy are going to head on to Ellis Island, which is, uh, in my opinion, the best casino in Vegas. Um, it's very low limits. I don't know if they have Baccarat, but they give you craft beer. Can I borrow your beer for a second? They give you a lot better, hold on, they give you a lot better than this uh, Goose Island IPA or when you drink. Um, like, act, I know, but no, the stuff they, they give you at the Ellis Island is, is good beer. So, and they got good, good cheap food, like really cheap food. It's right behind the Flamingo. We will definitely take you there together. Um, so you can kind of see uh, what's going on there. But we're headed in the complete reverse. So we're going from Sahara to Westgate, to Convention Center, to Fa no, not Valleys, to Harris Link, and then Flamingo. And then after Flamingo, we are going to uh, continue on and go to, we'll check out Stage Door, which is a sketchy bar. Come on. Uh, like with dollar beers. Uh, so we'll go to the sketchy dollar beer bar, and then we will head on to Ellis Island to continue our night. Yes, I've been going for a lot of hours. It's 12.45 right now, which is realistically, God, 3.45 a.m. Uh, South, South Florida time. So we are still trucking along, singing our song side by side. All right, so we have dropped my sister back over the Flamingo. We are behind the Flamingo at the Stage Door Cafe, as well as the Ellis Island Casino, everything like that. This has a... One dollar beer. It's an Italian restaurant. People are smoking their wacky tobacco back here. So uh, that's the liquor store. And then we got a cap there. Hey, Dougie! And then we've got no outside drinks. This, I believe, yeah. No, the stage door doesn't close. I can't tell you the last time the stage door closed. All right. So we are on our way to Ellis Island and we stop by stage door and what do we have to get? Philip's not the image, but uh, oh god. You know what? For a dollar, it doesn't taste as bad as it normally does, does it? Alright. It does still taste like shit, I agree. It's basically water on our way to Ellis Island where the good beer is. That's why I always find it funny. You know what? The boycott. Yeah? They did. Why would you boycott? It's already a train. It is already trending. I agree. So we are back where, honestly, first night in Vegas literally always ends every frigging time I come here. This is the Ellis Island Casino. Why? Because I'm always someone brand new who's like, what is this place? They're doing, uh, this is a little tiny, like two, three story hotel with a casino. Uh, they will give you free craft beer while you play. They have cheap food. It's amazing. My favorite on or off the strip casino. It's right behind the horseshoe slash ballys and the flamingo. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to film inside here. Why? Because I already have a whole video that shows you inside here that I had to go get special permission for. So uh, if you want to see that, watch my Ellis Island video. Uh, but uh, we're going to go have a good time at the casino, cafe, and Bistro. Watch the Ellis Island video if you want a full review. All right, so I am over here at Ellis Island now. They give you uh, free craft beer. What you get? I'm putting my voucher. They give you free craft beer while you play. I had $15 of free play. Played it through on Jacks for Better for $10.40, and now I'm going to play it. I'm going to change it down. Oh, it's only a dollar. Okay, so it's a dollar. I'm going to play it on uh, on some roulette here. They have digital... Where the fuck do you put it in the hole? That's what she said. Oh, there we go. You're going to play it on single zero roulette. That's cool. While we sit. And we, now, you understand why we come here now, fellow? Single zero roulette. It's pretty cool. Sir. Can I taste your... Um, what was that, blueberry? Yeah. Was it good? Have you tried it? Oh my god, that smells delicious. Do you like blueberries? Hold on. You're not on camera. Please, just do me a favor. On microphone. Just, play, just taste that beer real quick. Just put the beer in your mouth. Wow, that's delicious. Blueberry! Do, do, do you agree that this is the best beer that you've that's, had in Vegas? That's the best beer I've had in Vegas. I mean, like, they used to make them on site, and then they brought them out. Uh, don't make them on site anymore. Uh, 
but uh, it is how much? Uh, Free ninety nine. <laughs> and and we're gonna get brownies for dessert after. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, so I took my free ten dollars here, played roulette with it, and look what I made. I made fifty dollars. I'm up forty bucks here, and I'm drinking their free beer. As they would say on Key and Peel, they done fucked up AA Ron. I love Ellis Island. I've made a whole video on this before. Ellis Island is fantastic. Um, this blueberry beer that my buddy got. That is, I don't like blueberry. Probably one of the top five beers I've ever had. It's that good. It's literally that good. Um, this amber's good. That blueberry is fucking fantastic. All right, so I have been kidnapped by a secret Asian woman. Angry. Her name is Holy Fuck. Uh, she, she met us at the casino and she told us about a better casino. And I said, I know this better casino. And she said, I worked at that better casino until I got fired last week. And I said, I well, shit. I said, I said I okay, you quit. You got I fired. Quit. Look, look, I quit. look. You either, yes. you either put a dick in your mouth or the dick comes in your mouth voluntarily. No, I, I I smacked the dick out of my mouth and I fucking did this and this and this. I did you did that you shit. did you did you go hawk tool and spit yeah, on that thing? Yeah. No, I didn't. I fucking I sliced that fucking dick. You know what? I'll show you. Oh my I'll god. I have a Glock and a fucking pocket knife. I'll no, show please, you. please don't yeah. take out your Glock. Okay, all right. No, no, please. I'd rather take out your Glock. <laughs> no, 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 I trust you on your Glock. We're just going to have some nice good time. <laughs> we're gonna go to the. We're gonna go. I don't need. Where the look. hell is the Durango? <laughs> the Durango? <laughs> the Durango is in the middle of fucking nowhere. I know where the Durango is. Her name is Holy Fuck. Holy Fuck! <laughs> and for some reason, I have decided that an Asian woman gets to drive tonight. This is what happens when you don't sleep for 36 fucking hours. You put a woman in charge of anything. No, no, no. Okay. Do y'all die, bitch? No, we're not. Do y'all die? We're you in. Wanna, you want to die? Okay, no. exactly. We're right. in Vegas. Okay, exactly, bitch. Dude, this is. Did you die? Exactly. No. But did you die? Exactly. I, I, I actually, I actually know we're headed in the correct direction to go to the newest. I, I'm, I believe I, be, this is the newest uh, casino in Vegas after because it came out after Fountain Blue, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. Uh, no, two weeks before Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue. Okay. Yeah. So this is the Durango. Um, and they have a great place that's 24 hours called the George. Yeah. And I guess I that's where we're having our breakfast. And Hans is a motherfucking and Hans and, and 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 here's the best part. The best part is you you, you realize that um, the the cheesecake. Hans explained to me. God, what was it? Six seven months ago. He said he's like. The cheesecake that we have, the Oreo cheesecake we have, we stole it from Burger King many years ago. <laughs> and I was like, You're stupid. You, have you had that Burger King cheesecake years ago? No, I love Burger King cheesecakes, but not the drawers. No, 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 hold on, no, no. Do you remember the one you used to have to take like the zipper things off the side? You pulled Oh, the... yeah, 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 you pulled it. Yes, like, yes, it. yes. No, like the Oreo Hershey's cheesecake. Her, Does Hershey's the one in the George taste yes. just like that? Like I a, never a gourmet? Tried it. You've well, not we'll had it? it. We'll oh. Try it. We'll try, we'll try, oh, we'll try. It, we'll is, try it. it is, it is basically, we'll try it. it is basically that cheesecake. Oh. Philip, are, 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 are you afraid? Are you afraid, Philip? We're getting uh, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, right? Yes, and uh, no, the uh, buffalo chicken dip is the bomb. The, the buffalo bomb. chicken dip. So this is off the strip. Uh, and way the, the, off the strip. <laughs> way off the strip. And the last time I went here, no, I I, I had a it's woman so pick me up. Okay, let, let me tell not you, you've taken woman. Ubers here. You've taken <laughs> Ubers in in Vegas before, right? Not a not an Asian woman. But you've not taken Uber. No, no, I had this white woman. She picked me up at the Mirage, right? And she's like, I, I'm at the Mirage. I just got out of Shin Lim. Sorry, Shin, Asian. Yeah. But um, I get out of Shin Lim, and she goes, she's like, I'm on the seventh floor of the garage of the Mirage. I go the fuck are you on the seventh floor bitch i'm on the first floor you know and i'm like i'm like okay it was so she made me go up to the seventh floor and then she took 
two and a half hours. Shut up. To get Toto Bien, because she goes, Seriously? She goes, yeah, she goes, she goes, I want to avoid the billboards. I'm like, what the oh, yeah, fuck yeah. is wrong with you? Yeah. Um, and that was, I actually got money back on that Uber trip. Did you? Uh, Good. For somehow, I got in this car with holy <laughs> fuck. Right here. This is ho holy fuck. Uh, what is your actual name for, like, give me your prison Sin name. Sin City. Sin City, okay. That's Sin City. Because uh, I went over the speed bumps and he did it. Holy so shit! She went over those speed bumps, she was like, that is a challenge! <laughs> and I'm like, you're not wrong! That is a challenge! Massage, bitch! No, no, it no. That was a free massage. No, that was not a free massage. Yeah, it was. That was some free <laughs> anal free <laughs> anal insertion. No. Like, if you got hemorrhoids, we gonna pop them. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Salt Lake City, I came from this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Philip? <laughs> Philip, are you afraid? <laughs> no. No, you're not. You know why? Because we are, we are two of the people in this world that probably want to live more dangerously than anyone else in this world. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we know that we are getting that 1994 Burger King Oreo cheesecake yes. in our mouths. Yes. And I'm getting yeah, some spring rolls. And you know what's great? At the table where we order, we can play roulette. Oh wow, we order. That. And while we play roulette, that. you know what yeah. the drinks cost? How much do the drinks cost? Nothing. Free 99. Oh, God. What time <laughs> is it? It's 321 in the morning. It's it's, it's literally 7 o'clock in the morning. Are you afraid of the way I drive? I am not afraid of the way you drive. I feel like you're like, oh, God. like. Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I can't. I can't. Do you want to be afraid of the way I drive? No, I can't. Do you want to be afraid of the way I drive? I can't say what I want to say on video. Do you want to know? Do you want to be afraid of Here's the way what I'm I saying. Drive? Uh, holy fuck. You need to ask <laughs> to see the card that's in my wallet when we stop. Okay. I have a card in my wallet. Okay. It's a special pass. I'm not telling all you on the internet about it because there's a, like, 14,000 of you and there's only one holy fuck uh, but uh, for some reason we are th this this actually feels right okay she could be taking us to a saw organ or organ organ harvesting facility I'll make uh, you my fucking bitches but the good bitch. news is the good news is my heart my liver, all the parts are already pretty fucked, okay? So if you really want to harvest my organs, you should find someone fucking better than this degenerate to harvest their organs from. You guys are watching, look, I am, we, we have like, uh, I made a challenge that I had a certain number of hours in Vegas to see, you know, uh, how I do, what I make, and everything like that, and somehow we're headed to the Durango, to the George, uh, yes. Which has really the Durango's minimums oh are God, great. I fucking love Durango. And Durango is and correct me if I'm wrong. Durango's where the where the locals play, correct? Yes, I will show. I will. I will introduce you to everyone at the Durango. It's fucking lit. Like, it's always great to have an ex employee with what you. Absolutely. It's. Uh, I mean. Southwest. Oh, see, Hans said. Hans said he's working. Hans is working at the George. No, that's that's a bartender, bitch. And he's at the George. Yes. Oh. Oh, Hans will look it up. Oh my God, that, I don't know, Hans, Hans, I, I have no question that Hans will look it up. Um, Hans is the best bartender ever. Seriously. I'm not going to reach out that far. I will say he's the best bartender at the Durango. Okay, yeah, 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 I don't know yeah, him yeah, that yeah. well yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, let me be honest with you. you know the last time I was at the Durango, I got shit faced to Toto BN. No, no, no. Wait, so we're gonna go to the George. We're yep. gonna go to Oasis so I can introduce you to Wait, all the bartenders. Oasis is open still? Yes. What the yes. fuck? Yes. Why is so Oasis open I'll at 3 24 in the morning? Oasis. Where I'll is take Oasis? You to all the bartenders. Wait, Oasis is that secret bar in the back. No, no, right? no. That's Wax Rabbit. Wax Rabbit closes at um, two. Yeah. So But Oasis, Oasis is in front Oasis of Wax Rabbit. It's a middle bar. And I'll introduce you to everyone. My, so Wax Rabbit closes at two every yes. night. Yes. But but secretly, if you know the bartenders, the bar the drinks are actually better at Oasis than Wax Rabbit. I mean, we can sneak into the Wax Rabbit. You want to sneak into the Wax Rabbit? I mean, I, I I've been there. You want to sneak into the Wax Rabbit? I mean, it's 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 literally a bookshelf in the back of Oasis. Exactly, but do you it's, want to sneak into the I mean, Wax Rabbit? 
Does the Pope touch kids? <laughs> I told Philip we were going here tomorrow night and the night after, and Philip, what happened? We're going now, baby. Do you know why? Because what time is it in Vegas? Who the fuck cares? Yay! Vegas doesn't close, does it? The George is 24 hours a day and on it. So, so let me ask you a question, okay? This, this is a tough question, all right? This is a serious question right now. I have a serious question for you right now, okay? If you had to choose for the rest of your life between the George and the Village Cafe, the George, for sure. Really? You like the George more than so? Absolutely. So, Philip, let me fill you in. The Village Cafe is the cafe you didn't eat. Oh, there's Durango Drive. Oh my God, she's actually taking us to the correct yeah, exit. Dummy. The organ, the organ harvester. Yeah. Will be... Well, you know what? I will fucking harvest your organs at Durango, bitch. I I, I believe you. Yes. Hey, so hey, you know I know she was gonna harvest organs. <laughs> She can't hit anything on target. Oh, and there's an Ikea. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, yeah, I fucking hit, I hit that shit, bitch. Oh, oh no. I fucking so, hit that shit. So, there's the Durango right there. That is very much a, um, let's, I, I would, it's a uh, Nevada, California local casino. Would, it, would that be the correct, uh, there is a tiki bar called Toto Bien. No, fuck that shit. Fuck Henderson. There's, there's also a place. Yeah. Hey Philip, if we're, if we're up if we're up uh, in the Durango late enough, we can go get breakfast at IKEA tomorrow morning. Which... I mean, no, the Durango is open twenty four hours. No, you're right. Yeah. IKEA has a furniture store, bro. Did you say IKEA? Oh. I, IKEA has a whole fucking restaurant. Can we bitch. slap his oh, ass? Fuck. Yes, I will. Hmm. Holy fuck, slapped his ass. I did. Um, <laughs> so, somehow, hey, somehow, like at three, <laughs> at three, okay, 26, you know what? I, I, nah. at well, 326 in the morning, slap your fucking ass, bitch. somehow, your we ass? have made it to the Durango. Yeah, okay. I walked, I so this is actually yeah, on no, the left. No, 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 hey, no, no, Philip, no, Philip, no, Philip, no, no, Philip, no, no, Philip, no. I want to point out on the left, that's the headquarters for DraftKings. Oh, wait, no, oh, on Commons. Wow. The left is Uncommons. Have you done? I've been to Uncommons. Okay. But that's also the headquarters for DraftKings. And Uncommons. Yes. Okay. And and Toto Bien, the yeah. Tiki Bar. Yeah. So this is the George. This is probably the best late, no, this is the best 24 hour oh, place to eat in uh, in Vegas. Oh, um, God, it's so good. What? I'm so oh, good. Philip, you don't understand. It's so good. The, it's so the George good. is great. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go into the Durango, we're gonna go in the George, and we're gonna catch you back here because guess what? We survived a female Asian driver. <laughs> Congratulations to us all. We have survived. So somehow, somehow, we made it to the Durango. I said this wasn't gonna happen for a few nights. Organ but um, there's been no organ harvesting. Um, we have a holy fuck. Uh, and we're we're going to the George. I'm gonna show her where I'm going in Hawaii because I you're really from Hawaii? Yeah. Oh no, I have I'm going four places in Hawaii next month. I want to know where to go in Hawaii. Yeah, I will tell you like all the like local. Wait, hold on. Wait. All right, so we got the center bar. Yes. Come on. Come on, let's uh, let's see what's at the center bar. And and they have video over there. They, this is the local casino. We were we were over at um, where where the hell were we? No no no, it's turned around. It's turned around. You're not on camera. No, we we were. This is on me. Uh, we were over at oh god, no, I'm a skipper sometimes. Uh, no, we were over at uh, what's the name of that place? No, it's on, it's only on me. The, the camera's only on me. I'm gonna turn this off because we're gonna talk to people as a human being. All right, so this is. The George, one of my favorite 24 hour places, literally ever, 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 ever in all of Vegas. I've only been here once and I'm not gonna lie, I was totally not sober the last time I was here. I don't think I'm sober this time I'm here. But um, the George is the place to go. And they've got all kinds of poker machines and stuff like that. I'm gonna grab the menu. I remember Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, and I remember a. Uh, why the hell am I still up? I have 18% left on my fucking watch. I'm still up. My buddy has no clue where the George is. He 
he has no phone because he's flirting with the girl back at the bar. So um, hopefully he can find the George. But yeah, uh, more games. Give me roulette here. Yep. They have a double zero roulette right there. That's how I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find Philip. I don't want to leave him alone because I got his phone in my bag. And we're going to have a good time at the George. Internet. Can I be completely honest with you? I believe I've been kidnapped and brought to a hotel and a restaurant I know about. My friend has been taken captive. I think his organs are going away. All for that Burger King cheesecake. Uh, I had a girl who literally took me at 60 miles an hour over speed bumps in the uh, Harry Reid Airport to get here. I don't know why I went to the Harry Reid Airport, um, but uh, yeah, I believe I'm safe. I don't believe I've been drugged or anything like that. I am at the Durango. I'm at the George of the Durango. I recognize where I am. The bartender recognizes where I am. Probably Google Maps back. Let's see. Yeah, I'm at the Durango. Um, I didn't expect to be at the Durango, but um, yeah, guys. Whatever happens for the rest of the night, happens for the rest of the night. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. It's been, God, well more than 24 hours before I've had some sleep. So be aware, I'm in the bathroom now, letting you know what's going on. All right, so they brought out a uh, cheese plate here. And we've got, uh, hold on. We've got our uh, 60 mile an hour through the airport driver, who's uh, enjoying. Very hot, it's huge, right? Who's enjoying. I know. I was on asking a girl. Oh, yeah, thank you. Try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can call anything. Like, call me. As long as they're spending, as long as it makes sense. What's your favorite? Oh, my God, it's so good. My favorite drink? It is really, really good. Absolutely. Really good. What is your favorite drink? No, no, no. Yeah. Double Jameson, bitch. She wants a virgin coat. Nothing about her. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why is it so fucking hard? Ha, ah, that's what she said. Mm. Alright, welcome to night one in Vegas. I guess. I guess. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? How hard is it? So hard? I mean, I'm going with How does she introduce you? Like yeah. That. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That was the thing. Somehow we have a uh, random 4 a.m. truck to reward. I'm listening to things happening in the right of my ear. I still don't know if my organs are getting hard soon. I was told you in the bathroom, but I feel relatively safe for now. Um, hey! Yes! I'm Tom. Tell I'm telling about, people. Tell I was down 100 bucks and just came back 24. Tell about the car ride. I'm telling him. I'm telling him. I'm, tell him about the yeah. fucking car ride. <laughs> I'm being choked out. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I already told people in the bathroom. I went in the stall and I'm like, I'm probably getting murdered tonight. <laughs> this is my final will and testament. <laughs> you want a pickle? Here. Here. Uh, oh, those are awful. Poor dad. Oh, God. Yeah, not bad. I don't know about that. What's going to kill you, that or the car? <laughs> she went through the airport, the Harry McGrath, the Harry, whatever, Harry Airport. <laughs> There's these speed bumps. <laughs> she takes them as, why don't I speed over them bumps? Okay. Do you know what that girl's car has none of? It's called suspension. <laughs> there is not existing. <laughs> there is no longer a suspension in her car at all. <laughs> it's Asian suspension. It's Asian suspension. But did you die? But did you die? Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> but did you die? You are about to die. You're not dying right now, okay? Something tells me we're winding up next at Golden Tiki. Oh yes! Let's do this. Why? 
Golden Seat, no, wait, wait. This is a microphone, if you want to say something. No, it's a video, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> okay, it's a video, bitch. Um, I don't think anybody was trying to poison me at the George. Uh, yeah. But when a free charcuterie board comes out, you start to question things in your life. This is literally 3.57 a.m. First night in Vegas, um, and I'm uh, down 75 cents playing quarter roulette here. Because, yeah, I'm down 75 cents playing quarter roulette here. You know what's crazy? I'll chase it. That's crazy. We go very different from quarter roulette to dollar roulette to every other type of roulette. So, quarter roulette. What? Yeah. Literally, quarter roulette is its own freaking thing. Oh my god, what is going on here? That's all they keep giving shit, but everybody wants to go and do what they want to do. Okay. You know what? Philip. Like, magic drinks show up. You know what? Is that? I talked to him about you, and I'm like, let's go to Durango's, because Hans is the best part. I mean, she did, and I showed her the video. And I, and, I, and I showed you the photo of me and Hans, like, the other night. She did. And I said, I was drunk. I was drunk until the end. Wait, wait, wait. Han, Han, take a video of, of him drinking your shit. Oh my god, that's spicy. <laughs> Someone put flaming hot Cheetos on this. <laughs> Guys, if you're wondering what happens when you go to Vegas on your first night, well, shit, this is what happens. Checking my wallet to make sure nothing's been paper from it. And it hasn't. So that's impressive. Very, very impressive, if true. So it is uh, 4 7 a.m., 7 7 a.m. Uh, Miami time, and I got the um, the, um, it's the so really cheese good. steak um, egg rolls. Egg rolls. Uh, and these are amaze balls, um, and you you have an actual sauce. You dip them in. No. What? They want to see you eat it. Here. What, you're going to eat it? Hold ah, on. here. That's warm. Very hot. Mm. Oh my god. Am I wrong? So good. Oh. Oh, so good. So, you want to try? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. So good. So now you know what I'm talking about, but this 4 a.m. Oh magic. Uh... Yeah. Wait, when you get the bubble it's cheese, like Arby's, you're gonna like... but good. Uh, it's like Arby's, but good. I thought you were gonna say it's like Arby's. You have the meats in your mouth. <laughs> no, it's like Kamala's. You have the meats in your mouth. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Kamala's? Kamala's. What's that? Kamala Harris. Oh, She's really oh, good oh, at putting meat in her oh, mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning in Vegas. That's the first joke. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, y'all. We're taking one of those selfie things, I think. I don't know. I'm an Asian, bitch. You're an Asian. So do, do you own Shitty Walk? No. You understand the joke? No. It's yeah, a South I do. Park. Yes. So what you do for a living? Da da la, no holla. Oh, dollar, dollar, no holler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still confused. Philip has realized something that I have not. Philip likes being slapped. That's what he wants. You know what? You want to see it? I do want to see Philip okay. get slapped. I'm going to keep this off camera. You know why? Oh, why? Because you got to pay money to see that shit. Hey. hey. Have you ever met somebody who is forced to retire? OK, Philip's only fans. Go ahead. There you go. You ever wonder what sex looks like with her? There you oh. go. What's that? That was a good one. Oh, did you get Definitely slapped <laughs> good? You're okay with that. I'm not Tell I'm God. Okay with that. Say something. Say something. See something. Say something, bitch. Why did it just get? Why did it just get really something. bright here? Yeah, exactly. Like Cause I, I, I lit up his motherfucking light. That's why. So be the fucking simp that you are. Stop talking and let her hit you in the fucking face. I did. I know. Hey, Three look. Times. I've not been hit in the face. 
Because I wear the captain's hat. Because you're a gentleman, how, baby. How unbecoming. I try. Sir. Because you're a gentleman. You're right. I'm not arguing. You're correct. You have no room to argue. I know. All right. Baby, can I get her? It's for the Sorry. private OnlyFans. We'll see soon. All right. So we've got, somehow it's uh, 4.45 in the morning. We've got a cheesecake. And uh, somehow I'm being fed this cheesecake. I don't really understand what's going on here. I truly don't understand. Fucking eat it, bitch. Eat it, bitch. Ooh. Is it good? It's not too sweet. It's got that caramelization on it. I mean, it is. Yeah. Ooh. Is it good? That's actually exceptional. Shut up. Is it good? You haven't I'll tried give it? You more. Have you tried it? No. Do it you again. Try it. Give it a try. No. No, I'm good. Go try. Oh, fella. <laughs> How do I explain this to my sister who's asleep in her hotel mm. room right now? Mm. She thinks you're on your way back. No. No, she doesn't. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you got oh it on my God, so fucking good. He that hey, you just stripped it down and shook his chest. You gonna take care of that? Go ahead, fella. It's so good. God. Take the airplane, goddammit. You're not on camera. Take the goddamn it's airplane. It's so fucking good. Oh my God. God. It's very plain and I like it. No, because, it's not. No, but I mean by plain hey, is. Yeah, I'll take the mint. It's not. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Nothing's interfering with the pureness no, no, no. of the cheesecake. No, that fucking white shit. Okay. It's so good. Internet. What is that? Internet. Oh, now I have white shit spread all over myself. <laughs> it went down his chest, too. Oh my god. Under, under what is going on here? What is that? <laughs> what is the white shit? I got you. I believe it's white cream. Oh my god, it's really, really, really good. I don't know what it is. With the white shit? No, I want all. all what of is that. going on here, guys? <laughs> I'm really. I'm. So, points. The internet is. No, thorough. come on. Give me more of the white shit. Hold on. She wants. She wants. All, all the white stuff. I want to be very clear with people. <laughs> it is currently five o'clock in the goddamn morning on Monday, August 5th. Come on. Oh, there's so much white shit here. Oh, yeah. You want that white shit? Yeah. What the hell is going on here? Oh, that creamy white shit. Oh, oh, good God. I'm really confused about what's going on here. 20% of OnlyFans. Yes. Check it out on her OnlyFans. Oh, that was so it, babe, it was really good. And also, she got so hungry, it's she so took good. a bite of the plate. Oh, you got No, cherries? It's all you. See, there's a bite of the plate that's missing. Why is it 5 o'clock in the morning? 4.48 in the morning. Uh-oh. Oh, good God. Oh, good Lord. I'm not even religious, but... Good Lord. What happens when you start at one casino, you go full speed through an airport. <laughs> what are speed bumps? And their suggestions. Lonnie, you watch these videos because you're like, holy shit, what is this train wreck going to do tonight? Philip, was any of this my fault? No. We just wanted to go on the SpongeBob ride. He did not ask for it. <laughs> he had good intentions and crazy results. Oh, what is this, though? It's really good. I'm just going to look it up like a cat. <laughs> Internet. They're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> look at that tongue. Oh my god. <laughs> really good. Oh my they're god. Gonna, gonna what have I what have I done you tonight? We're it's... gonna make a fucking million dollars getting pepper. It's five o'clock in the morning. 
Monday, August 5th. I almost want to put this it's together. It's really, really good though. Oh my gosh, she's, <laughs> she's go. back at it. <laughs> Guys, I wish I could uh, write this. <laughs> I can't. He had no, he had no influence on what just happened. We went speed humping through the uh, Harry Reid International Airport. <laughs> those speed humps That's were just. What she said. Those speed humps, what were they there for? They were just for air, weren't they? This is on video. You're like, you're like, you're like. I love food, bitch. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. That was really good. I'm talking about where you went over the airport speed bumps, and you're like, let's go faster what over. Did you die, bitch. What did you, what did you die? You did it. Something cracked in my bag, though. Yeah, he said, he said it's that. He said it's that. He said it's that. He said it's that. He said it's I, I, I truly don't think this night is over yet. I think what's going to happen it's is <laughs> Faye and Philip are going to go back to the hotel room. We're going to change our t-shirts because you wore that shirt yesterday, right? And we're going to change our <laughs> shirts. <laughs> we're going to go to the convention. We're going to go talk to a whole bunch of people, get some random samples of crap. And this is all going to be one giant video. I mean, hey, you know what would be crazy? She wanted to go to the convention? Oh, good God, no. What convention? Oh, God. Love I'm going to stop this video now and let <laughs> Philip explain what's going on tomorrow. So we've got here what we think is called an advantage play. Uh, and what are we playing? Uh, we're playing $200 here on Coin Trio. Go ahead. I put 100 bucks in. Phil put 100 bucks in. Let's get one of these piggies to explode here. It is currently... Uh, five o'clock in the morning because why because it's five o'clock in the fucking morning uh, we want two or more to pop we want two or more piggies to pop at one time we are at the el dorado which uh, opened a few weeks before the um the uh fountain blue you like this more than the fountain blue don't you it's much more friendly oh yeah especially that that little place is great isn't it the the george delicious and it's good uh-oh. The piggies is getting fatter. But here's the question. Are we going to make piggy money? So what Philip's doing is he's switching between certain bet levels, trying to get those piggies to burst, because you see, those piggies are nice and fat compared to other piggies that are not nearly as fat. So you see, those piggies right here are not nearly as fat as these piggies so we've got we've got 150 bucks left on the piggies out of 200 bucks I'm trying to get those piggies to bust i put a multi-colored coins at once we i i understand what we need also there's a very slow moving a zamboni that's going in that direction again it's uh it's five o'clock in the morning it's literally five o'clock in the morning we need here we go come on piggies we're halfway through here. Come on, piggies. We're getting equal piggy wiggy. There we go. We got one. Only one. Eh? That's all we need? Or we need two. This could be feet. good. Most, could get us out get even. We're hoping to get to 200. We're going to play it out again? All right. Depends on how bad we are. Mini, $10. Twelve dollars. Fifteen dollars. Go for a major. Twenty dollars. Minor. Twenty-five dollars. That's it. No, it's still going. We got oh. more spins there. Well, if we fill it out, then we get that we get grand. Yeah, I know. <coughs> if we fill all this in, we're getting the grand. We're getting grand. I know. And we're Come on, big money. Come on. No, one more. It's gonna make a lot of noise for nothing. No grand. I mean, it's okay. But. $40. 45. Let's go down $43. Let's go bigger. All right. We're gonna make it or break it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump to roulette. I'm gonna make some money on roulette. $44. That was a good guess there, Philip. You gonna try for some other pigs? You gonna try and bust all the pigs? No. What? Nope. Take our loss and take our loss. Cut the tail and run. Cut the tail and run. So I'm gonna get seventy-three dollars or so from that. He's gonna 
get a little more because we couldn't get all the pigs to bust at once. We lost about That's all I'm saying. I'm going to move to the glasses and show you. All right, so we are here at the Durango at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, we're still off of 100 bucks or so. Let's kind of see a couple hundred bucks or so. Let's see where we're at here. Um, again, I'm already up uh, 20 bucks here. I put in 2,000. Uh, this is some extra change from a little stupid side that we did. Uh, let's see, red, 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 red! There we go. Make another 20 bucks there. Here's, I'm gonna hey, put some money the there. That's my... 36 red I got two grand in the machine. Nice. Again, the goal is uh, to make as much as we can here. Again, the goal is put them 10 bucks on red, and we'll see what we can do there. I got 40 cents. Throw them 40 cents in. Place we can bets, we please. can bet 50 cents. So congratulations, we got 50 cents bet. We no got two thousand dollars in the machine, and we're gonna see what we can do with that. What? I put two thousand dollars in the machine because there were little bills and stuff, and I needed to get them. Uh, under control. So, some of the some of the change machines gave me like twenty dollar bills and stuff. So I need red. I love red. Red, yes. So I got uh, the winning number is three. Uh, Twenty one dollars. So I got rid of that uh, random forty cents, even though I still have it there. Two thousand and forty dollars. So forty dollars in a very short amount of time. Let's put. Uh, well, you know what? Let's uh, let's go on even, because uh, that's. Seems to be the safer bet. Again, it is uh, god damn, five o'clock in the morning. Bets, Just seeing, kind of see. We always want to look at the bet limits, which they're uh, reasonable on this machine. Five hundred dollars. Well, no actually, five hundred dollars taps out pretty easily because this machine starts at fifty cents. So this is pretty much the lowest limit bubble roulette you're gonna find in Las Vegas. So um, that's why I like uh, where are we? The El Dorado, Durango, whatever it is. Uh, El Dorado, I think. Uh, come on, red again. Oh, wait, is that even? That's even. The winning number there we go. is 30 red even. I got $2,050 there. So I've already made uh, 50 bucks, but you know what? I'm a greedy pig. So let's continue on. Let's make some money. We're up 50 bucks here at the, um, where the hell are we? Durango. Place your bets, please. I think that's where we are. And you do get points here, but I don't have my, uh, my point player. No point multipliers are not Thank eligible. You. Extra cash is not eligible. This is one of the few places in Vegas that will give you points on Bubble Roulette. And uh, we're going to keep making some money there and hopefully make more and more and more and more money because now we put two grand in. Might have to get someone to take this two grand out, but I just thought, uh, man, it is black. So again, we don't double or anything like that the on a black. The number is 22 All we'll do. black even. Remember, the next bet was uh, 2060. So we have to put in line again. We want to get a win here, and then once we get a win, we want to get up to 2060 because we got to 2050. So 2060 is the next bet we want to do your right bets, here. Please. Again, we got six seconds or so. So if this were to win at ten ten dollars, I would make no twenty dollars. Make you make me up to uh, 2040, and then I have to make a twenty dollar bet on the next hand. Take it up to 2060, 2070, 2080, 2090. That's the goal there. Maybe we'll go for 21 or 2200 right now. Again, it's uh, 5.09 a.m. on a Monday morning. West Coast time. Ah, and it's black. Oh, I, I do like black. The winning number Sorry. is 20 I'm like, black I like black even. now. So essentially, we want to get up to 2060. So we're going to put a $20 bet on black. And if that hits, we're going to get back 20, and then we're going to get back another 20. So it'll get it to 2020, 2040, 2060. So let's see if we can get 2020, bets, 2040, please. and 2060. No more bets. Thank you. So Come on. I love a black. And we are red. So we're gonna have to work a little bit harder on that. We'll the see you in a minute. All right, so I'm just the counting money here. So uh, red we have on. to make a $20 bet on red now. Wait, no, 21, uh, 2060 is a $30 bet. Uh, and what I'm doing, I'm just kind of sorting out 
bills here. That's a nice thing you can kind of do at a casino without worrying about anybody sleep. going crazy. These are the profits from so no far. No more bets. Thank uh, you. Boop. Boop. And then we've still got the uh, $2,000 in the machine. Hopefully $2,060 if we are to land on a red right now. So let's just uh, 20... Five. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. $2,060. There we go. The winning number is 32 Red Even. So you'll see $2,060 right there. And that's all it really takes here. Some simple math and understanding what's going on there. And if I wanted to just go, let's go black. But I'm at $2,060 right now. If I wanted to, I can cash out up. But I am going to be greedy. Because being greedy, this is the way. At least that's what no the Mandalorian bets. says there. We're going to play here for a bit because this is 50 cent bubble roulette. You don't see this anywhere else on the Las Vegas area, Las Vegas Strip. The last place I saw this was on uh, MSC Cruise. Um, we like black. Let's see if we can get a black here. Black? Red. So we gotta bet that the again, but again, we're not chasing anything either. here. And that's where it gets, so we're just gonna, let's just put $10 on red. And that's it, you can see red's done uh, very well. I chose to go with black because uh, I'm not very smart, I guess. So 2070, we were at 2060, 2070, right down there, is Place the next number best, we want right there. Eventually we get to 2100, 2200, 2300, 2400, uh, but it is no uh, 513 you. in the morning here. All right, so that was a miss. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place that again. Let's put it on the other side uh, again. If we get there, we're at 2004, uh, 2040, 50, but we gotta get to 2070. So our place next bet's gonna be twenty dollars if that ten dollar bet wins. Essentially, that is all we are doing no right bets. now, Thank just you. as an FYI. All right, so we still got our two thousand dollars in there, and you can see. That should make $30, and we want to get to $70, good. so good. we got to put uh, 16, $40 there. Um, anything red would be great. 16, 18, 21, 19, 14, 23, 27. There we go, 27. What did I say? 27, and guess what happens the right there? Is nice little 27. Five. So, again, we want to get to 2070. So we're going to go ahead, and on red, we're going to put 10, 20, 30, $40 bet. And that takes us below the initial amount. So I'm going to stop this real quick so you can follow along and see what comes up next. All right, so we've got a $40 bet. Um, that'll get us to uh, no more bets. The $2,070 if it hits. So there's an $80 uh, win there, or $2,060, $2,070. Let's see where we're at. Um, we're waiting for it to hopefully land in red. We've got a $40 bet there. If not, we go back down to a $10 bet. Come on, give me red. Red, forty dollars, two thousand, thirty dollars, plus the forty dollars is two thousand and seventy dollars and ninety cents. Because hell to the yeah, make another hundred bucks here. Uh, I don't like red. Red's been a little too populous. We'll go to even. Again, it's the same bet. One to eighteen, even red, black, odd, or nineteen to thirty-six. It's kind of weird. You cannot. Bet against yourself. The bets are not available or bets not allowed. Um, kind of an interesting one. But since the low end is so low, the high end is capped here at $500 on bets. So just be aware uh, if you're playing crazy numbers. Uh, black. Oh, that's even though. Yeah, I'll take it. The winning number winning is number 10. 10. Black 2080. Even. This is how you pick up 100 bucks at a time. And I will take it. Let's go with a, uh, let's go black. Again, that'll get us to 2090 if it were to hit. All right, so let's see, did black hit? Nope, red hit. So again, we're not the gonna double our bet or seven. do anything insane red like on. that. I'm gonna bet it. I think our next bet is 2080. So our goal is 2080. So we're gonna get there via, by all means possible as long as our bet actually wins. Um, an interesting strategy. Hopefully, I'll be able to cash out 2,000 from here. Place walk it up to the front. Please. I want I want 2,100 at least. Then it means I made 100 bucks here. Uh, I think I paid like no 45 bucks 
for my uh, dinner here that you might have seen, which I said I was unsafe in the bathroom. Um, I checked, counted my wallet multiple times, checked everything that was going on there. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of cash in the wallet on top of that 2060. Little winnings here and there. Let's just see. Oh, black. We're good. We're playing that. So I think we the said 20, uh, 280. Black. We got it already. It's going to give that back. 280. All right. So we're going to go ahead and I do like... Let's go odd this time. We're just putting $10 on on. It's there. I've got 2090. I want to get to 2100. Place your bets, and, um, Let's go to 2150. Just get that extra dollar there, you see. It's no 20, uh, 207040. I want to get a little bit better there in the theory of things. Let's see if we can do it. All right, come on. Let's fall on odd. Something a bit strange. 24 is not odd. 24 is even. The winning so we're going to place that bet. Uh, even. One more time. With that crazy amount of coin there as well. And we'll see where we get. 20.59. We'll be a little bit higher than that. Oh, good God. We've got a little bit of money here. Uh, and it keeps hitting even numbers and not odd numbers. So we're just kind of waiting for odd numbers to hit. 20.50, 11.50. And, um, place your bets, please. As soon as that hits... We're good, but what I like is they do give you very good, uh, no more reasonable Thank you. points for this game. A lot of other places will not give you points for roulette, so it's almost not worth putting your card in. Unless you get some bounce back. When you lose a lot of money, you might get a percentage of that back in what they call bounce back or credit back to your account. Let's see where we're at here? Come on. I would like an odd number. Eight is not an odd number. The winning number is eight. I'm going to go Black again until I hit an odd number. But again, I'm not doubling my bet or anything like that. Just trying to get there. And then when that finally hits, I want to get up to $2,100. And then cash out right there at $2,100. Really, winning some number odd is 11. $11. I'm going to bring that back. And I think I'm going to put uh, the next bet is $40 on odd. As long as it's $40, we will uh, make it back to $2,000. $100, put an additional $100 in the wallet. Uh, that will be the biggest win of the trip Place so far. Because I don't have my sister or someone else dragging us around. Uh, it's just an extra $100, not $60, not $20, no not another $60, you. not another $80. Uh, so all we're looking for, I need something a little bit odd. Or a lot of bit odd. Let's just see. I'm fine with that. Anything odd. I don't care if it's black or red. I'm getting right in there. Odd. Give me odd. I'm not knocking the machine or anything like that. 13! That's odd. $2,100 there. That 61 will go there and it'll get the $40 back. $2,100. $2,101.90. And guess what we've got? we got a profit of $101.90 from the Durango Casino and resort at god knows 5 23 a.m it's time to finally get to sleep i think all right so the sun is rising over the durango right there i have been up for god knows how long 30 hours i'm up You're about four to five hundred dollars in roulette right now i gotta count it i'm up like 450 to 500 dollars and i've shown you most of the steps of the way, um, I'm showing you a crazy adventure. Here's the thing. I have killed my first 12 hours in Vegas. That's the truth. It's 6.07 a.m. Is it really? Yeah. It's 6.07 a.m. We got in at 6 p.m. I have made back my flights. I've made back my food. I've made back everything of that sort. And now we go for profits. Um, I have an Uber picking me up, a Chevrolet Colorado. Oh, that's it. Wait, no, Silverado? Colorado. No, it's not here yet. Uh, I'm going to head back to the Flamingo, and I'm going to take you for day two. This is Richard from No Pants Profits, wrapping up literally the first 12 hours 
It is 6.08. It is 6.08 and 39 a.m. The sun is rising. If you think I'm kidding, I don't joke. I don't kid. Monday, August 6th. I'm up about... I'm going to give you a ballpark. About $450 so far. That's after all expenses, everything like that. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you at the end of the first 12 hours. And the thing is, we've got plenty of 12-hour sets left, but I have got to go to sleep after 30, 32, 33 hours up. Reminding you that after the first 12 hours, when you wear no pants like me, the only thing you have left to lose is, well, your bankroll. But I didn't lose my bankroll. I made money. The only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. And I'll see you for the next installment in 72 hours and two. Hold on. I didn't go to the bank. I didn't get any more. 72 hours and two. There's a thousand dollars. See you around and hopefully we can make even more. We're at uh, 20% or so return so far. Let's see where we get to. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye. So uh, I've got a little postscript here. Um, I am at uh, Harrah's waiting for the monorail to open. Yes. Back playing roulette. It is currently 6.48 in the morning. And the lady came around and said, would you like a drink? And here's the thing. If someone offers you a drink for free, Ooh, especially a good drink. You take it. So I got me a 6.48 a.m. Earlier than that 8 a.m. the other day. Um, a rum and coke. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose, finally, is your shirt. Have a great one. I will continue with the roulette. Uh, we are, uh, God, <laughs> many, many hours into this. I just put 10 bucks on there. We got $470 there, but we're not going to chase it. We're just going to play it. The lady came around and said, would you like a drink? And I was like, if someone offers me a free drink, what am I going to do? Offer me something else for $80. Hmm. Offer my buddy um, full service for $80. That's what she said. So I'm just going to... Make some money here real quick. Uh, this is Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you, yet again, I don't know how long this video is. That was a crazy fucking night. But when you wear no pants and you switch your goddamn bet from red to black, the only thing you get left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Any comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that, leave them down below. Have a great one. Bye. And I'll see you for the next 12 hours because 12 hours down, yeah, it'd probably take a three, four hour nap and um, we're going to a convention, but we'll see what happens then. Bye.